Hello? What? He has a holo? What is going on, guys? It is Mike from PokeTips Official, and welcome to episode one of my Pokemon Sun and Moon Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. So this is the start of our brand new journey together through the Alola region with a twist. Every single Pokemon we find will be random. All the trainers are going to be a lot harder, and this run should be a lot of fun. So if you guys missed episode 0, I'll give you a quick little recap. Last time, I explained the rules and regulations of this whole run, and also let you guys choose my starter. So, the results are in. So, with the least amount of votes was Apom. Apom got less than 100 votes. What do you guys have against Apom? Apom's a really cool Pokemon. In second place, we had Mimikyu with 236 votes. That is a lot of votes for Mimikyu, and Mimikyu would have been a really awesome Pokemon to start the run with because of its ability to disguise. It basically gets a free substitute. How amazing would that be in a Nuzlocke run? But the winner is Articuno, and that is going to be so cool to start off with Articuno because Articuno is a legendary Pokemon. Ice flying, it should be very fun, and I can't wait to see how far we are going to go with our Articuno. So, we'll say the fire type Pokemon Litten. Oh, I guess that doesn't change the sprites or anything. That's kind of weird though, it's saying a fire type Pokemon Litten, but trust me guys, it is an Articuno. Alright, so Old Hollow is going to be talking to us. Only when you have both chosen each other can you truly call each other partners. So, Articuno, go ahead and choose me, if you dare. I don't know if you want to choose me, though, because we are doing a very crazy run in a Nuzlocke. If the Pokemon faints, it is dead. So I can understand if a Pokemon didn't choose me, because they don't want to die. Let's see if Litten, Articuno, <coughs> there also decides to choose you. Alright, this is an intense moment. Will our Litten Articuno choose us? Ooh, Articuno is staring at us with some curiosity. I don't know, I don't know. Will he choose us? Hmm, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. Oh no. What do you think, guys? Will he choose us? Will he choose us? Oop! Oop, he's smiling. That's a good sign. Everybody's smiling. Lily looks pretty shocked right now, though. And he's in our arms. This is like the Lion King scene right there. You lifted Litten gently in your arms. And there we go. So Articuno has accepted us and we can begin our journey through Alola. So of course one of the major rules of a Nuzlocke is you have to name each and every Pokemon you capture. Now I wanted to go with a nicknaming theme but I can't really think of one right now. So I thought for this Pokemon it would be really nice to name it after you guys, the fans that gave it to me. So I'm going to go ahead and nickname Articuno Subs. So, S-U-B-S for the subscribers that chose Articuno. So, thank you guys. This Pokemon is for you. Subs has been added to the party. Alright, so Kakui just gave us our Pokedex and he told us to go show it to our mom. So, let's go back to the original town. Whoa, wait, who's that? Who is that? Why are they running up to me? I don't know you. Hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle. No, I want to go talk to my mom. Oh, here comes the squad. Tell him, get him, Hala. <laughs> Where's the fire, boy? And what kind of Pokemon battle would that be where you don't even give a name first, eh? That's right, you gotta tell me who you are. You don't want to be like the rival from Gold and Silver. Fair enough. Then I'm Hal, and my partner's Rowlet, or is it? Dun dun dun! Your Litten looks really cool too. Guys, I have an Articuno, not a Litten. Yeah, thanks, like what? I don't have a Litten. So yeah, let's battle! <laughs> He's just like, um... I don't really care to see Pokemon get hurt, but I'll watch. Wait, why did I make Lily sound like a man? I gotta do a girl voice for Lily next time. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and battle our rival over here, Hal, and you're gonna notice something very different right off the bat. So let's go ahead and battle him. And listen closely, guys. This is gonna be great! Oh yes, it will be. The first battle of our Nuzlocke. Let the battle begin. And there you go, you might notice the sound is a little bit different. Some of the traders in this game will have different music. I love this remix by Mewmore, YouTuber Mewmore. So there we go, custom music for our rival Hal. So let's see what his first Pokemon is. Oh, he's starting off with a Krogunk. That should be pretty good because we have the Flying Tarp Articuno, Flying Type Articuno, so this should be a cinch for us. Alright, get him subs. 
Ooh, Krogunk is shuddering in anticipation, and so am I. I'm so excited to start this off. So we have Gust and Powder Snow. So Krogunk is fire, uh, fighting poison, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna go ahead and go for the Gust, and they should do a lot of damage. Super effective hit. Oh, he is living though. And he's gonna go ahead and use Astonish. Why is he turning around? All right, that didn't do much at all to Sub. Subs is tanking it right now. So let's go ahead and hit him with another Gust. Now normally this would be over right now, but in this randomizer run, every trainer has two. Hello? What? He has a hello? Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. Uh. Run over, guys? Run over? I think this is it. I think we should have chosen Mimikyu. Um. Ho oh. This guy has a ho oh. Uh, alright, I don't even know what to do here. Uh, we just have to try. Alright, go for the gust. We do outspeed the hose. We get, a, we get like a super critical hit. Oh my gosh. That did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Alright, that didn't do much to us either. Alright, we have a chance. Maybe I'll hit him with a powder snow. It should be neutral. Oh wait, speed time. This could be a mess. Whoever gets a crit first wins pretty much. Wow, this run can be over real quick. Yeah, that did nothing too. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead with Gust. Oh my gosh, this can be over really, really quickly. Come on, subs! Come on, subs! Oh no, 11 HP. Subs, get that crit! Get that crit! Come on, subs! Come on, subs! Come on, subs! Oh no. Alright, there we go, we're outspeeding, and this is what we need right now. Come on, subs, I believe in you. Ho oh, oh, stop it! At least we don't have a fire move, I'm hoping. Oh no. Alright, we can only take two more of those. Come on, subs. No. No, no, no. We need to win the speed tie two more times. Oh my gosh. Oh my- Oh no! We can't take another hit! Oh my gosh. Come on, crit! 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 Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, subs. We're on 3 HP. That was insane. I thought this run was going to be easy. Because we have Articuno. No, 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 no. No. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Wow, that's bringing us up to level 7? Wow, that's crazy. Wow. Okay, that was very intense. I was not expecting that for my first battle at all. I'm kind of, I'm literally shaking right now. I was so scared that the run was going to be over. Hoo-wee, that gave me chicken skin. Poketips, right? Your Layton was awesome. Now that settles it, I'm going all out tomorrow. What was that? Sparkling in my bag. Hmm, Poketips. Would you be so it's kind to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Sure, why not? You can look at my sparkling rock. Hmm. Could it be? Tutu, isn't that... Hmm. You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Poketips? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. I was about to fall in, and that thing just flew and swooped me. So, yeah, I was rescued by that thing. So it even decided to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Poketips, because this is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not. I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. Hmm, wait, no, 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 I want my stone. If it's that, if it's that good, give it back. Give it back right now. It would seem you have the makings of a fine trainer. You must do us the honor in joining our festival tomorrow. Well, I guess I have to now because he kind of took my stone. First, I'll make sure that you get home safe today, though, Poketips. Lily, you should jump going, ah. Lily should join us too tomorrow, yeah. We wouldn't want to lose you twice in one day. You were that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I will keep an eye on. Nebby, get back in the bag. The next day. Oh, listen to those waves. That sounds really soothing. Definitely need that after this intense battle I just had. Oh, wait, wait for it. <sighs> what a stunning sunset. All right, today's the day that I finally unpack. Well, who's at the door? Who's ringing that doorbell? Who is at the doorbell? Go see who it is, Pokey Tips. Well, I guess I have to listen to you. You are my mom, after all. 
All right, let's go find out who's at that door. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, why is there a mop in this corner? I never noticed that before. I think it's kind of a bad idea to keep a mop in the corner because, like, let's say, what if the mop was wet? And I was running in, I was running in to go check and see who was at the doorbell, and I slipped and fell right on my little face. Eh, not the best idea putting that mop there, Mom. Alright, anyway, who's at the doorbell? Oh, it's Professor Kukui. Why are you just walking into my house? Hey there, Pokétips. It's about time we set out for the festival, yeah? Yeah, I guess so. I want to get that rock back. But first, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer with your own Pokemon, I've got to show you something. Come with me on to Route 1. Okay, let's go out to Route 1 and see what he's got over there. And Mom gave me her approval, so it is time to get going. Oh, you said something about unpacking. All right, I'll leave it to you. I hope you put that mop away because I am going to slip on that mop, Mom. Put that thing away. Oh, what's over there? Poketips, hurry up, cousin. Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and use our agility. I love the dialogue in this game. So silly. Let's go ahead and use our agility. Agility go! Onto Route 1. And did you see? It's just beautiful. This game is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Every time I'm just walking through this game, I just adore the environment. It's so good. All right. Good way. So you know that wild Pokemon sometimes jump out at you in tall grass, yeah? Well, I have been playing Pokemon for quite some time, so I do know that, but thanks for the reminder, I guess? Oh, and if you listen real closely right now, you'll notice there is something a little bit different about the wild Pokemon music. I changed it to the Pokemon Black and White 2 Encounter music. Because personally, I like that better. That's one of my favorite wild battle themes. And I played through Sun and Moon so much at this point that I'm kind of sick of the regular wild Pokemon battle theme. Alright, so let's watch him catch this Poke- Wow, wow, really running it close there, huh? If I was trying to go catch a Pokemon, I wouldn't use Tackle on it and knock it down that low, because I'd be afraid of knocking that thing out. Alright, let's see, how do you catch a Pokemon? I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Pokeball 50 Pokeballs! Wow, Professor. Give me some of those, I need some Pokeballs right now, I can't catch anything. Oh yeah! Wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah! But if your Pokemon get hurt, I'm sure you can go home and heal up. Alright, so he's giving me some Pokeballs and potions. Thank you, Professor. Thank you very much. And 10 Pokeballs, wow. You're one of the more generous professors. I remember Professor, Professor Oak only gave me 5 Pokeballs, so 10, I will take 10. Take good care of Poketips, Litten. You mean Articuno, right? Alright, so here we go. Now it is the moment we've all been waiting for. We get to catch our first Pokemon. So, just to familiarize you guys once again with the rules of a Nuzlocke, you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter on a route. So whatever I find here will be the Pokemon that I can catch and that I can't catch any more Pokemon on Route 1. So hopefully I find something good. And here we go. What is our encounter going to be? Oh my god, it's a Shaman! Shaman Skyform! Yes, 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 yes! Yes, 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 yes! We found a Shaman Skyform as our encounter! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my- I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. Alright, so I don't even know how I'm gonna catch this thing. I'm really, really scared of attacking it because I'm pretty sure Shaman Skyform is grass and flying. So I know if I use Powder Snow, that would pretty much knock it out. Gust might even knock it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Professor, give us 10 Pokeballs. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw one. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw one because I really don't wanna knock this thing out. And I'm also afraid of it knocking me out because this thing might have some crazy moves. All right, that's two. That's three. Uh, one more, one more. Yes, 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 yes. We caught ourselves a Shaman. There we go, that is what I am talking about, guys. And this Shaman gets us up to level 8 too, that's pretty awesome. So Subs is now level 8, and learning Mist, and then we got ourselves a Shaman. So, I'm gonna nick this thing, I'm gonna nickname this thing after Berries. I want that to be my theme for this game, Berries in the Pokemon Universe. So we're gonna go ahead and name this Shaman Orin. Alright, so Orin has been added to the party. Now let's go ahead and check out our new Pokemon, Orin. That is so cool. A Shaman Skyform? That is one of my favorite Pokemon. Let's go ahead and check this bad boy. And he has a Lumberry too. That is pretty awesome. But what? What? What is this? He only knows growth? How in the world am I supposed to train this thing up if it only knows growth? So I love this Pokemon, but it's not going to help me out much right now. Wow, okay. 
<sighs> All right, let's see what some of the other Pokemon we could have caught in this route are. All right, what would this Pokemon be? All right, so here we have a Magmortar. Oh my gosh, that would have been cool too. I'm running for this thing for sure though, because that thing, if it knows a fire move, my subs is done, and Ar and um, Orin would be done too. Okay, wow. So there are some crazy Pokemon in this route. We already caught the Shaman. There's a Magmortar. Let's go and get this item. Oh wait, there's another Pokemon. What would this be? This is the thing I love about randomizers. You never know what you're gonna see. Ooh, a Seismitoad? That is really cool. That is really, really cool. I would have taken any of these Pokemon, honestly. Any of these would have been awesome encounters. But the rules of the Nuzlocke, I could only catch one of them. So the rest are just eye candy for now. So let's go ahead and grab this item. Ooh, a potion. We're probably going to need that. And let's keep going ahead onto this route. Ooh, what's that over there? Looks like we have a trainer that's ready to battle. Look at him throwing that Pokeball. He's like, yeah, I'm ready for you. Are you sure? Are you? Can you handle this? Let's go. When the eyes of Pokemon trainers meet, it's time to battle. Ooh, and listen to that, guys. Custom battle music as well. I like this battle music because it really fits the Alola theme. Just listen to it for a second. Oh, this is so awesome. All right, let's go ahead and get this battle started with Youngster Jimmy. And he's got a Pan Sage, which should be absolutely no problem at all for subs over here. Both of his stab moves will be super effective against this Pan Sage. This guy is going bye-bye right away. Let's see, I'll hit him with that Gust real quick. Blow him away with Gust. And there we go, Pan Sage is out of here. So Sub's gained a little EXP and he's got an Azuril, okay. Here, what I'm gonna do here, I think Azuril's weak enough that I can switch in Orin and get some EXP on Orin. Because we really need to get this thing to learn a move. Otherwise, it's only like I have one Pokemon. Look at that, Shaman Sky form. And Water Gun, alright, that's not gonna do much damage. Yeah, one damage, not very effective. Alright, so we'll go ahead and bring back out subs. And subs should be able to deal with this thing just fine. And I believe Azuril is actually a normal type, not a water type. So I'll go ahead and be able to use an ice move on it, no problem. Yeah, that's doing nothing at all. Alright, let's go ahead and hit it with that powder snow. Oh wow, that thing is bulky. Maybe I'll try hitting with Gust. Uh, those tail whips are gonna get scary. That is crazy. Why is Azuril so bulky? Alright, well we got the crit there, so... That thing is out of here. Getting a little bit of EXP on both Pokemon, and Orin is getting himself up to level 5. Still no attacking moves, though. Growth isn't a bad move, but... Right now we need him to learn something that he can do some damage with, otherwise it's just gonna be a solo run with my subs over here. Alright, so here's another trainer. Let's go ahead and battle you. I'll show you my sister, who I'm super close to. Where's your sister? I guess your sister could be your Pokemon? Better have a female Pokemon, though. Otherwise, that would just be awkward. All right, so Lass Audrey would like to fight. And Lass Audrey has an Arbok. All right, things are getting a little serious here. Arbok is a scary Pokemon. If this thing has any of the elemental Fang moves, I might be in trouble. Alright, so he's got the Intimidate, so my Gust isn't going to be doing much damage at all. So we're going to go ahead and use Powder Snow. And see how much that does to Arbok over here. And it looks like it's going to be a two-hit KO. Oh no, Poison Sting. It looks like it's going to be a two-hit KO. Please don't poison. No! No, no, no! No! No, 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 no. This is real bad. This is really, really bad. Poison is not good. I don't think I have anything to heal up Poison right now. Oh no, that's not good at all. Whoa, okay. Alright, so... Subs is gonna get hurt by that poison. And- Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no. No. Alright, so he's got a Quillava. I'm poisoned. I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage. Oh, gosh. Alright, um... Powder Snow is gonna do much, because it's not very effective. Gust probably isn't gonna do that much, because... We're weakened already. With the Intimidate from the Arbok. I'm just gonna go ahead for the Gust anyway, and see how much it does. I'm probably going to have to use a potion after this. Hopefully I'm still alive. Alright, so he just went for- Okay, okay. 
All right, we're good. I thought he would went for a fire move. I got really scared for a second. If this thing had a fire move, we'd be in big trouble right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for Gus. This should knock it out. And we're okay. Wow, every battle in this game has the potential to be extremely scary. All right, so subs is at level nine, well-deserved, well-deserved, but we're only at half health right now, so I'm definitely gonna heal up because I know there are more trainers on this route and I don't wanna take any chances losing my only Pokemon that can do an attack right now. So let's go ahead and use the potion. And that'll bring us up to back to 37 health. I'm not gonna run back home to mom because, you know, we're gonna be tough and deal with this poison. And the good thing is that poison doesn't do damage in the overworld anymore. I remember it used to in the older games, and that would make this extremely tough. So we can't go up this way. So I guess we'll have to go straight over here. Ooh, another item. Let's go ahead and grab this. And I hear some drums. Sounds like something's going on over there in the next town. But let's go ahead and battle this trainer first. All right. Hey, please battle me. Well, your wish will be my command. So let's go ahead and get this battle going. And we are challenged by Preschooler Oliver. So what is Oliver gonna- oh no, and the palm. Alright, maybe I should've went back home to mom. Maybe I should've went back home to mom. This thing is kinda scary. Oh, that would've been funny if I actually started with the A-Palm. A-Palm versus and the palm. But alas, it was not meant to be. Alright, so we'll hit him with the Powder Snow. And that's not even going to be a three, that is going to be a three hit KO. Maybe I could get lucky and turn that into a two hit KO. I'm really scared with this poison though, because I'm taking a lot of damage each turn. All this thing has to have is a really strong attack that I wouldn't know about. Okay, good. Okay, good. We got that Amipom out of here. We are going to take a little bit more poison damage though. Normally, I would try to switch in my, uh, whoa, is that a shiny hoop hoo? That's really cool, wow. All right, at least the hoo-hoo will be going down. I wish I could have your shiny hoo hoo though. Just give me your shiny hoo hoo. I would train it better than you. But normally what I was trying to say is I would switch in the Shaman right now and try to train it up a little bit, but with that poison, I'm not gonna take any chances at all. So we're just gonna keep on going. But that was really cool, it had a shiny hoo hoo. What in the world? Is that another item over there? Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that bad boy too. Alright, and we got a Paralyze Heal. Why couldn't it be an Antidote? Oh, another encounter. What is this Pokemon gonna be? Who is it going to be? Ooh, a Dragalge? Or is that Dragalge? I'm not sure how to pronounce that thing. So that's really cool. That would've been an awesome Pokemon to have, too. All these Pokemon would've taken. All these Pokemon are extremely cool. But we're gonna get out of here. I'm not taking any chances. Not even gonna battle these things for experience right now because we are poisoned and I need to get rid of that poison. Alright, so here we are back in Icky Town. Icky, Icky Town. Everybody's socializing. Looks like they're all getting ready for that big festival coming up. And it looks like we have to get going too. Oh, here's Hala. Can I have my rock back, Hala? The Alola region is made up of four islands. And each island has its own guardian Pokemon. A festival today is held to express the thanks to these great Pokemon, these great guardian deities, for always remaining by our side. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. What are you talking about? I'm so lost right now. Oh, here's Hal. What are you gonna say? Don't battle me right now, I'm poisoned. Ho! Oh, how's it, Pokey Tips? Man, I thought you'd never make it. Well, I got caught up by a few trainers back on that old route. Up oh, here's the squad. We got Kukue, we got Lily over here, we got everybody. But to what exactly? Oh, there's Nebby. Come on, Nebby, stay in that bag. A full-powered festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, putting our Pokemon one against each other. So you two- Oh, that's Lily. So you two will be taking part in the battle? I don't like seeing Pokemon fight, but I guess I'll watch. All right, here comes Hala. Your Pokemon have fought for you, so show them the same care in return. I will heal your Pokemon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you ready for the battle? Yes, we are. Let's go ahead and battle. Looks like, I guess we're gonna be battling Hao again. Ooh, 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 look at that. Got all the scenery. This is intense. For all the life on our islands, and all those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts, we pray for your protection, for them and all of Melly Melly. 
May this guardian battle be an offering to our island guardian deity Pokemon, Tapu Koko. Before you sounds Hal, grandson to the Kahuna. Up here's Hal. Before him stands Poketips, YouTuber, sensation. Yeah, I gotta add that. I gotta add that in there somewhere, you know? Oh, Mom's here too. Articuno, please take care of Poketips. Yay, alright. Thanks, Mom. Now that we got Mama on our side, I know we're going to win this battle. Poketips, how? Bring forth the power in your Pokemon. Will do. Let's go hear that awesome music once again. And rival How is coming at us with two Pokemon. Hopefully he doesn't have that ho again, but he shouldn't be. This is all random. So he's got a not to now. But we got subs over here, so that thing shouldn't be any problem at all. Level 8, okay. These things are getting high leveled. Alright, so we're gonna go for the Powder Snow over here. Hopefully that'll one hit KO it. Alright, no, he's living. Wait, what? Focus Sash! What? He's got something. That did a decent amount of damage, too. Wow. Alright, so let's get this thing out of here. Get that out of here. Goodbye, Natsu. And let's see, let's sweep that next Pokemon, too. Ooh, we get to level 10. Nice. 41 HP. This thing is a tank. He's got the low punny. Alright, this should be no problem at all. Although it can be a little scary because low punny is an evolved Pokemon. So let's go ahead and hit that thing with the powder snow. And wait what? Wait what? Wait what? No. No no no. He's got a mega low punny? Oh no. No 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 no. Now that's a game changer. Alright, so he's going for defense curl. Alright, at least at least he's not doing any damage. I'm scared though. Mega Low Putty, that's a powerful Pokemon. Okay. Alright, so that looks like it's gonna be a four-hit KO. Although I could go for Gust, because I know Mega Low Putty is fighting type. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so he's got the quick attack. Don't do that much damage, please. Alright, alright, we're doing alright. Yeah, we should win this battle. Alright, that was a little scary when I first saw the Mega Low Putty though. Yeah, he's going for quick attack again. As long as this isn't a crit, we should be okay. Alright, good. So down to 15 health. How is taking this pretty seriously, but it's not like the first time we battled him with that Ho-Oh. That was something else. Alright, so we defeated How. What? It's already over? Yep, that's what happens when you don't have Ho-Oh. Look at everybody cheering for us. Ho-Wee! Another great battle this year. I bet Tapu Koko liked it too. Phew, that was awesome, Poketips. That was a really great battle. I had a blast fighting you. It was a good battle. With this, even Tapu Koko. Ooh, where is Tapu Koko? He's watching. Oh, you heard it yourself. Tapu Koko's song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. It's time that you take this, Poketips. Yay, I get my rock back. Wait, now it's on my arm. Ooh, the rock turned into a Z-ring. You slipped the Z-ring onto your wrist. Hoo-hoo. Alright, let's go ahead and hear more about this Z-Ring. Your Z-Ring, a mysterious armband that can draw the power, lies deep in Pokemon. It can bring forth their Z-Power. Z-Power. So you get to use those awesome Z-Moves now once we start collecting those Z-Crystals. And I guess he wants us to take, take the Island Challenge. Every island. Four Islands. The next day. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. What beautiful weather! I wonder what today will bring me! Oh, there's the doorbell again. Is it Kukui? Alright, let's go find out if it's Kukui. Wait, is that mop still there in the corner? Mom! Looks like some of the boxes are gone. Wait, nope, never mind. Still a little bit of a mess. Oh, he didn't bring himself inside today. I'm learning some manners, finally. Oh, wait, it's Lily. Of course. Alright, what does Lily have to say? Oh, um, the professor said, um, uh... Hey there, Lily, bring me that great new trainer. Woo! So I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab if you come with me. It's, um, this way. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and go to the Pokemon Research Lab with Lily. You can only reach a professor's lab by treading through the tall grass here. He says he can research moves better when he's surrounded by Pokemon. Well, I guess that would make sense, you know, if you're surrounded by a bunch of wild Pokemon, you'd want to watch them do their attacks and see how they battle. And unfortunately, we don't get a new encounter here because it is still Route 1, but what we'll do instead is battle this trainer. Alright. 
Let's go, kneecaps! What? Let's go, kneecaps. Is that what you want to shout at people when you want to battle them? Hey, you! Let's go, kneecaps! <laughs> Alright, so he's got an Abra. Alright, so I should be able to switch into Shaman no problem against an Abra. I don't think Abra would have any attacking moves. Maybe, if any. No, it wouldn't have any attacking moves yet at this level, right? All it would have is teleport. So we'll switch in Orin. And Orin should be A okay. We'll switch him in and get that EXP. Level this thing up and hopefully he'll learn some attacking moves and good. He only knows teleport, so let's switch back. Oh wait, no, that's Orin again. Look at me messing up. Let's switch out to subs over here. And now subs will do some damage. Bring it out, subs. Get him, subs. Get him, subs. Use that gust attack. Get that Abra out of here. Alright, it looks like Ab Oh, nope, Abra is living, but we'll go for one more gust, and that Abra will be no more. Bring that Abra down to its kneecaps. I feel like that's gonna be a new thing I'm gonna say. Kneecaps! And Orin's at level 6. Any new attacks? Ooh, level 7, too. Still no attacks, though. Mill tank. All right, mill tank. I have scary experiences with Whitney's mill tank, so I'm not gonna switch back into Orin just in case this thing is really strong. Wow, that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. I mean, it's thick fat, and it has defense crawl too, so Gust won't do much either. This is gonna be a long battle. All right, so Gust. Yeah, Gust did a lot more. Tackle isn't doing much damage though. Tackle's only doing four, so we should be just fine in this battle. Honestly, maybe I could even switch in. Yeah, why not? Let's get some EXP for Orin here, too. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and switch in Orin. Bring out the big bad Orin monster. And he'll go for tackle. And again, not doing that much. Only did seven. Wait, no, it did eight. Wait, no, seven. I can't do math. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring back out subs, and hit him with that gust, and finally take this thing down. And you're just growling at me all day. I'm so glad this thing doesn't have rollout. Defense curl rollout is not a combination you want to encounter. That thing is, that would be really, really tough. Alright, goodbye milk tank, and this thing should give me a lot of EXP. Alright, so we're getting 229 EXP on subs, that'll bring me up to level 11, awesome. Orin will get 304, bringing him up to level 8, and level 9, maybe level 10? Level 10, there we go! And Magical Leaf, alright, sweet, we got an attack on Orin, that is all I wanted. Now we're good, now we have two Pokemon that could actually do damage. So let's go ahead and switch things up, and I'm gonna go ahead and use Orin from now on, for at least a little bit. Subs has had enough fun, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this Orin Berry. I mean, uh, no, not Orin Berry, Lum Berry. That's what happens when you keep saying Orin over and over again, because who knows, maybe I'll need it later on. Let's grab that item, but let's see what this Pokemon will be. Who is it? Ooh, a Moralol. And let's see, ooh, we got an Awakening. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Always good to have those things around. Let's go ahead and visit Professor. Oh, there's another trainer over there. What is this Pokemon gonna be? Ooh, a Pan Sage. That would be kind of cool. I love the Elemental Monkeys. But we're gonna run from this thing because this battle will take all day if we only know a grass type move against Pan Sage. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna skip this trainer over here. We don't need to battle all the trainers. And let's go right ahead to the professor's lab over here. Up oh, there's Lily. What is going on in there? Sounds like something's getting beat up. Oh yeah, Rock Ruff! Let's go! Give it everything you got! My body is ready! Woo! What in the world are you doing in there, Professor? Ah, there they go again. That is... I don't even think I want to go in there. Oh my god, what are you doing with that rock rough? I'm gonna report you to the Pokemon Pitas. What is that, like Team Plasma? I'm gonna report you to them. Alright, so we're inside of the crazy Professor's house right now. He's just laughing in his rock rough. I don't know, something's not right, guys. I think Professor Kukui is a little cuckoo. Ah, cuckoo, cuckoo-y, that makes sense, he's crazy. The crazy professor. Rock roast moose were just so styling, and I was making good progress with my research. Sure, sure, that's what you're saying. All right, so he's gonna take my Pokedex, and what is he gonna do with my Pokedex? All right, so the professor just gave us the Rotom Pokedex, and now he's telling us about the Island Challenge. 
The Island Challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around the Island Challenge Champion. Woo! It is a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go on together. There are four main islands to pick up Alola and a Kahuna for each one. If you wish to be recognized by the Kahuna as says worthy, you must clear the seven trials. Ooh, the seven trials, huh? I want you and Shaman to go out there and give it a shot. You were able to fully use your Pokemon's moves in your very first battle. I think you must have a talent for drawing out Pokemon's strengths, yeah? That or getting really lucky, because I should have lost that battle with Ho-Oh. That was way, way too close. But, yeah, why not? I'll do it. And he just nods at me. Oh, yeah, someone who's dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves. I really want to see you out there meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your Island Challenge. Here, everyone on the Island Challenge gets one of these Island Challenge amulets. Okay, we get ourselves a nice little Island Challenge amulet. Hang that on our backpack, I guess. It looks kind of nice. Kind of want one, actually. That would be kind of cool to have. I got one for my gramps, too! Alright then, Poketips. You two, how? Get a move on! Okay! Yes, Crazy Professor! To the trainer school! You gotta learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling. It's a long road to becoming an Island Challenge Champion, and the Trainer School is the first step! What about you, How? I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, so I guess he doesn't really care about that that much. But me, I'm gonna take on the Island Challenge, become the Champion, and become the best trainer to ever walk the soil of Alola. So I feel like this is a great stopping point of the episode. So, guys, next time we will conquer the Trainer's School. So I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos just like this. This is only episode one. We've got plenty more episodes coming in our Sun and Moon Randomizer Nuzlocke. So stay tuned and have a fantastic day.